What is going guys, Tashwafa here, and welcome back to some more Arc Genesis. Now, last time we left off, we did that like scavenger hunt type mission, and we only did the gamma version of that, but it was kind of crazy. I had to do it twice, we died in the middle of the volcano because the heckin' eruption happened while we're doing the mission, unfortunately, but we did end up doing that mission though, so that's good. I may, I may continue doing the beta and the alpha version of that off camera just because we already did the gamma version of it on camera, you know? So, either way, this episode, what I want to do is see if we can actually make those, like, tech gauntlets, maybe even tech boots, if we even, uh, because I know we have at least one of those unlocked, because we already have tech helmet, tech leggings, and then I want to go to Lunar Biome, see what's over there, maybe even do a mission over there as well, see how different the Lunar Biome is compared to the Volcanic Biome, especially, you know, maybe even see if it's possible to build a base over there and live somewhat permanently, so, either way, let's just go to tech, because I know we have either the gauntlets or the boots, currently unlocked like legitimately because we did do that motor boss battle okay there you go tech gauntlets 55 black pearls 120 crystal 20 element 450 metal ingot we should be able to do that and then we have the tech sword i think we actually have a tech sword somewhere yeah we have the tech boots as well i think that's the same recipe 55 black pearls we should be able to do that let's see i guess we can go where do you make it i know you have oh you have to do it at the tech replicator can't you i think you do hold on why am i going over here to check the uh, let's see. Uh, let me see. Tech boots it has to be done. Uh, tech replicator. Uh, yep. Tech replicator. Okay. So we do need to do that. So that kind of sucks. I guess we have to see what we need to make a tech replicator. Do we even do we even make one of those? Uh, we can make an S plus version of that, and we can make the regular version of that. Oh my gosh! Five thousand metal ingots. But then again, we have like 16, 17, 20 thousand or something like that, right? So we might be able to make one. It's just that. 100 element on top of that? Do we have that? If not, we can go mine the red uh, crystal inside of the volcano, turn those into element. Uh, where is element on this? Do I even have it? Oh, I've only got 44. Ooh. But can I make more? Because we have the fabricator over here. We should be able to make element out of this. Can I make that? I can oh my gosh. I can make 60 crafts. That's like pretty much exactly what we need. We have like, what, 44 or something like that right there we just saw like 20 seconds ago. <laughs> we can make it right now, I think. So we have to go over here. Uh, do you have to make it in... I know you have to make it in a specific area. I don't know if... I think we can make it over here at the... Because we did just unlock the S-plus version of it. Might as well go see if we can actually uh, craft it over here at the S-plus crafting station. So, uh, replicator. Uh, there it is right there, yep. Then uh, we're missing... Oh, man, I'm trying to make a thousand replicators. 56 element and 366 palm right. Let's get the tech replicator. Uh, oh, yeah, we already had the stuff, so there you go, boom. And then we could use this thing to craft tech items, which is going to be crazy. And I don't know where we're going to specifically put this thing, I, I guess, on top of a roof like we usually do. <laughs> well, which roof, though, are we going to put it on top of? Do I want to put it on top of that roof over there? Maybe put a, a ladder on the side or something like that for me to easily access that? Or do I want to put it on this roof and make it look absolutely stupid? You know what, let's put it on this roof. That way it's kind of out- Oh! That way it's kind of out of the- Oh, out of the way. Oh my gosh. See, I can't. I, if I want to go up this thing, I cannot just jetpack and glide up there all the time. Here we go. Here we go. Woo, there we go. I definitely need to make some sort of ladder or something. So let's get a. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, I guess we can place it down like this because this thing is absolutely massive. Look at that thing. It's huge. Is it even. Is it falling? Oh, it's hanging off the ledge a little bit. And it is powered though. So that's good. We, we have our wireless generator thing over here. Uh, like transferring power all the way over here to, to, to power the. Uh, air conditioner thing, so it's also powering. This is great. Because usually, uh, you, yeah, doesn't it usually use replicate items here? Element must, yeah, element to be activated. So it's powered, but I don't have any element in there right now. Can I turn it on? I can. What? Uh, so I guess it's either or. Like I could either power it with element or power it with electricity. Okay, well, obviously, I'm going to use electricity because it's cheaper as heck. But let's see if we can make the, uh, like the tech boots and stuff like that. I wonder if the chest. Oh, I can make element. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just like the fabricator. Uh, tech gauntlets, tech helmet. And there's the tech leg. We already have that. Let's try and make the tech gauntlets. Let's see if we can make that. I'm missing 16 element and 94 polymer. Okay. So I do still need to, uh, can I just leave that thing on? That thing looks like a crazy beacon. <laughs> like if I'm ever lost and I want to find my base, that is going to be crazy easy to find my base with that thing. Jeez. All right, well, I, I'm going to need to get to, uh, was it, Palmer and Element, unfortunately. So we're going to need to go mining a little bit. Are right, you guys are back. And I just got a ton 
of chitin as well as the element shard stuff to turn into elements. So let's finally turn. I, I think I got like close to ten thousand or something like that of each of those. Just basically what what, what was able to fit in my inventory before I got over encumbered and couldn't like move basically. <laughs> so uh, I didn't take my magma sword either. That way I'm a little bit more agile. I was able to move around a little bit more. But uh, I suppose we could make tech chest beef. If I wanted to make one of everything, I need twenty element there. Another twenty. Okay, I think everything takes twenty element. Uh, what am I missing? Boots. Yes, 20 elements. So I need about 60 elements. How much do I have right now? I might have gotten like way more than I actually need. Uh, I have four. Okay, so we need to get about like 60 or something like that. Maybe maybe we'll get it like 96 or something crazy, you know? Let's try and get like 96 of this. So it's going to be 96. There you go. Uh, I can do that. Oh, nine. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I forgot you could do. Or you need 100 element shards to get one. How much more do I have over there? If I just pulled 9600 over there, how much more do I have? 34. Oh my gosh. I had like basically exactly enough. Uh, element shard. No, I had 434. Okay, so I can make four more element if I wanted to, so that's good. But I had so much, and I just got back from the chitin. 2800 chitin right there, another 10,000 right there, so we've got tons of chitin. GG. <laughs> we've got tons of chitin to last us, like, basically forever, so no need to worry about that. Plenty of uh, gasoline over there as well, and uh, still making a bunch of element over here, so that's good. So, might as well just see what else we're going to need for the uh, stuff up here. So, oh yeah, I'm going to need to make a ladder or something. Because uh, this is getting... Oh! Oh! There you go. Laying on the ground. <laughs> oh, did I ever make a ladder for? I don't know if I ever even got the Engram for it. I need to see. Oh, yeah, we do. We have the uh, the Engram for that. I suppose we could make some real quick and we just climb up it without having to worry about the... I don't know, let's get like 10 ladders right there. We'll have to like fly up in the air and then glide back down or anything like that, right? So let's get ourselves some ladders right there. And it looks like all of our element is pretty much done right there. So let's grab all that. Nice, and hopefully this is going to be close enough to... Where should I put the, uh... I definitely want to put the ladder on the outside. I guess it would cover up a window randomly. I don't care. <laughs> as long as I'm able to actually access this, uh, this, this tech replicator thing a little bit easier, then hey, I'm not complaining, so there you go. So, uh, can I place one, like, right there on that found it? Nah, I can't. Okay, I only need, like, four. I got, like, ten. So, I'm, oh, gosh. Climbing a ladder with a big old shield in my other hand. How's that possible? <laughs> let's get our, uh, here we go. Element right there. Let's get the tech, let's get the tech chest piece right now. Unfortunately, everything's going to be baseline armor rating, but 180 armor rating right there, 355. Well, if we upgrade it just a little bit, it's going to go up to like 914, 909 like these are, so... Uh, it's going to be even more resources to do that, though, golly. But I think it'll be worth it, because it's like the top-end armor. Once we get this armor, we're never going to upgrade beyond this as far as I'm concerned, right? So let's just try and make just one. Uh, missing 81 polymer, what? Now we got like 500 polymer in our inventory. Should be able to make all three of those items right there with the 500, so... Ah, uh, there you go, and I do need to turn it on as well. <laughs> there you go, might as well leave it on. I don't know why it turned off there. I don't, I don't remember turning it off, but maybe it goes off after a set amount of time. Let's try and make the uh, chest piece if I can. And, and but yeah, you could use this to craft like literally everything, like flak and chitin over there as well, so. Boom! Tech chest piece crafted. Let's get the uh, gauntlets next. Tech gauntlets, let me just make sure, hold on. Yes, we don't have tech gauntlets right now, so. Boom! Hopefully this stuff is going to still, uh... Hyperthermic insulation negative four, hyperthermic insulation 152. We may still be really hot over here. We may still, like, it, it, it might be fine for the lunar biome, perhaps, but we may, like, be really hot for the volcanic biome, unfortunately, and I don't think we're able to really improve that too much. It's literally negative right now, so that's not good, but let's go to boots next, and let's try and get the tech boots. Boom, there you go. I think we have it, you guys. I think we have the full set. Let's see. Yep, there you go. Chest piece, gauntlets, and boots. Let's see, are we going to get the red flame? Uh, well, it's not really good. Oh, whoops. Wait, whoa, whoa, why am I not? Oh, it's because of the, uh, the glide suit thing, isn't Oh, yeah, that, well, I guess if anything, oh, I can't put it on the back. Oh, yeah, I forgot I can't put it on the chest piece. Yeah, I forgot about that. So we're going to be down to 250 pounds straight up. Ooh. Man, that sucks. So we're going to be down to our base carry weight of 250. Oh, boo-hoo, right? So that kind of sucks. Man, so was it all for nothing to make the tech chest piece there? I guess basically. <laughs> I'm like, the tech, what does the tech chest piece really do other than give us a jetpack and other stuff in? You know what, maybe it is a good idea that we keep the, uh, the riot chest piece there then. And then just, I guess, upgrade that over time, perhaps. Because at least right now, we can move around, we have the, uh, the, the backpack, the glide suit, the jetpack. Oh yeah, we got the red flame, yeah. So that's what I'm talking about, we need to watch out for that red flame, so now we're going to be taking damage. Yeah, look at that, our health is starting to drain because of how heckin' hot it is, unfortunately, so that sucks. So if I'm here in the volcanic biome, I pretty much need to keep some hazard suit stuff, like, in general. Just so I could just wear it and make sure I don't heckin' die or anything like that, right? So just like we have, uh, I guess just have random hazard suit stuff in our inventory just straight up, I suppose. I guess I put the tech armor over here, unfortunately, and 
Uh, it's only going to be an extra five pounds on our inventory, nothing too crazy, but like that does add up over time, right? So don't want to have too much of that. And I suppose we could see if we'd upgrade our uh, our armor over here. So let's see. Do we have any armor reagents? We have damage reagent. We have a uh, durability, right? What about an armor reagent? So that would be this. Twi oh gosh, 25 polymer. Let's see if I can make like 10 of those. Uh, I can. Okay, so that's good. Let's, let's get like 10 of those. Let's put it on the gauntlets and the boots because those definitely need it if they want to kind of catch up with the, uh, the armor rating of everything else, right? So augment those about five times each so that 180 armor straight up just freshly crafted where are they going to go up to now 450 for the gauntlets those might have just maxed out right there and then 392 for the boots that's pretty good see if i can make a couple more of those oh i need more palmer man yeah I, oh man I, I could make more palmer i don't know if i have enough obsidian for that though but either way tech gauntlets uh, these are these are pretty good uh, armor rating wise like we went from 142 armor and 118 armor for the boots and gauntlets over there to 450 and 392. I'd say that's a pretty good jump right there, you guys. Not bad. What do we look like physically now? Yeah, we're all tech. Except for, of course, our shield and our uh, chest piece right there. Ooh, this is looking pretty fine. All right, well, I'd say we're pretty much set to go to the lunar biome and see what that's all about, you guys. All right, you guys, I'm back. I just teleported into the lunar biome and immediately... We're dying. <laughs> so, I need to find some shade or something like that, because I'm starting to die already. I'm, I'm getting uh, irradiation and stuff. Oh my, oh, there's some shade down there. But like, this whole area is nothing. But, uh, let's go over there, I guess. Man, this is terrible. Why did, I, I, I think I went to west. Oh, whoa. is this good? Oh, nice. Oh, we got the ice cube as well. Yeah, I knew this was probably gonna happen, so I also brought my flak armor over here as well, so we can wear that if I need to, which I probably do need to. Uh, also got a bunch of, uh, well, I got some trank darts. I made as many as I could uh, make, and then I got my long neck rifle so I can knock stuff out. Then I got a bunch of narcotics and stimulants that we had over at the ocean biome, so that's good. But it looks like we still have the cube, so I guess boots are fine. Yeah, let's put those on. We still have the cube right now, so gauntlets. Mm, yep, we still have the cube right now. Hypothermal insulation is at 210. I need even more? Uh, leggings then. Still have the- oh my gosh, how much do I need? Helmet? Nope, we don't- uh, chest piece. Okay, so I need everything and now I'm actually cold. Oh god, something's attacking me. Oh, the tech- oh, wait, no, wait, what? Oh, it's a seeker, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that's a tech seeker though, that's kind of weird if that was the case. I guess we'll get the, uh, there you go, put the glide suit on that now. So there you go, now we're actually cold on the lunar biome. I wonder if it has something to do with us being in the shade, though. So if I go out, obviously if I go into the heckin' radiation area, this probably isn't going to be good, right? Oh, yeah, okay, now I'm burning up! How are you supposed to live here? This is why I'm, like, trying to avoid actually making a base on the lunar biome. It seems like it's basically uninhabitable. Like, uh, making a base here would be completely dumb. But of course, you know, you can make, uh, trips here and, you know, get what you need and get in and get out, basically. Another seeker right there we can kill. There you go, nice. Definitely have to take more of the health potions here, eat some food. Uh, we have basically no- Oh! Rex over there. Oh, it's level 102. Raw prime meat, we need about five of those. Ooh! Hold on. Does it know I'm here? Oh my god, look at that thing! Does it know I'm here? I think it does! It's coming right towards me! There we go, a little bit of torpidity right there. It's roaring! Reload! Hit it right in the body. There you go. Halfway on torpedo already. Nice. It's getting that to uh, Parasaur right there. As long as it stays in the shade, that's good. Thank you, Parasaur. Thank you for... Oh, no! And one more hit. Oh, yeah, probably one more hit, actually. Man. Come on, land, land, land. I didn't want to glide right there. Hold on. Boom. And it's knocked out. Nice. How in the world am I knocking out tech creatures? I thought they were completely untamable. Unknockoutable. But I guess we can do it. So there you go. Put food and inventory to What do we need? Oh, wait, yeah, there you go. I was about to say, if it's not eating that, it says, oh, cooked meat, raw, raw meat, raw prime meat, then what does it need? But yeah, I guess it just takes a second to kind of kick in there. Tech Parasaur level 180! Ooh! Well, if anything, this is probably going to be a great, like, starter creature here on the lunar biome. To get this the heckin' Tech Rex right here. And then, uh, oh yeah! And now, this will be a, finally our first time heckin' taming a creature in, uh, Ever since that update. Now we can actually go to the taming list. And yeah, there you go. So let me track that. Now what does that actually do? Oh, nice. It shows a thing over here. Shows how much it's been tamed. 0.0%. It's in the shade. It's in a relatively safe area. I guess you could describe this as. So I, I, I'd say we could probably just move on and maybe even... Oh, you know what? Did I give it all my meat? I did give it all my uh, raw prime meat right there. It only needs like five. So <laughs> let's leave like five in its inventory. And then... uh. 
Oh my gosh, you gave it like 2,000 right there. What in the world? <laughs> and then uh, maybe we can go around and try and find another uh, high level creator. Like maybe, uh, yeah, yeah, there we go, 16, that's fine. Maybe we could find another Tech Rex. There's a Stego back there, level 102. I want to find one that's like level 180, just like that Parasaur was right there. I've got, I've got vegetables over here. I've got raw prime meat. I can tame like anything. I don't have, oh, oh. Man, how am I supposed to put up with this radiation without just straight up avoiding it? I don't know, but I do like this thing though. Look at that, that's really, really cool. Like from a distance, from across the map, it's basically like a waypoint. It shows you, oh, 0% and it shows you where it is. So no longer do I need to, to keep track of coordinates and stuff like that to figure out. Oh my gosh, is there really like nowhere here that isn't covered in heckin' sun? I don't know, I don't think so. I think everywhere is actually covered in sun right now. This is terrible. Oh, I crashed down to the ground. Oh, oh no, oh, 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 more radiation, this is terrible. Woo, there you go. Maybe I can go over there, because there's like floating islands there, and I'm basically being sheltered by this giant thing up there. Oh, what in the world? Attack drone up there. Hold on, can I zoom in on that for you guys? How do I zoom in with this? Uh, there you go. Ooh. Not tenable, obviously. What is that one up there? Another seeker? Yep, it's flying backwards. What? <laughs> what else is up here? Like asteroids floating randomly? Uh, not seeing any other creatures, though. I know there's like a flying whale or something like that that I definitely want to get just for the memes. And I think we, uh, we may already have it saddle. I have to go check my chests and stuff, but... I need to find like a nice shaded area, perhaps over there. 24% tamed, you guys, holy heck. And it's only been a couple minutes right there, so that's good. So let's just go over here, try and just glide. Oh, nice, more more uh, shade over there. Go, keep gliding, keep gliding, keep going, keep going. Keep going, we're dying every time we're in the sun. Oh my God, more green rocks right there, perfect. Anything inside these like uh, craters here though? Nope, looks like it's just purely decorative, it looks like right there, so that sucks. We got some uh, defense things over here, tech stagger right there. Woo, more shade, that's good, nice. I can get some more ambergris. Remember, I do need ambergris. I guess I'll get it with a mining drill, boom. Kill this defense unit with our sword. Because I'll get it with a mining drill. I don't, did I ever mine ambergris with it? Yeah, 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 I think we tested it out. That's like one of the ways that we tested out the uh, the, the mining drill pretty recently. And yeah, I, I can't use the mining drill to heck and attack this guy, unfortunately, so that sucks, but there you go. And he's dead, nice. All right, well, let's continue mining the green here. Oh, yeah, it has to start up first. It seems like I'm not even getting anything from this, though. Oh, my, oh. Man, another one? Where, when did these guys second stop? I'm literally taking zero damage from them. <laughs> oh, there you go. I think these ones over here that are more, more marked, I guess you could say, in the green. These are the ambergris, I think. I think down there is just tiny little specks of green. This is the real stuff, right? Let's see. Is this actually going to give us? No, it's just giving us stone. I guess it's just moon rocks here. Oh wait, I'm getting some ambergris. Where'd I get that from? I get 68 right there. I'm picking up a ton of stone right now. And a bunch of, oh man, rare mushrooms and stuff here. Whoa, so you have to, if you can't grow rare mushrooms like we can, because I had a mod installed, then you have to come, oh yeah, and it's over uh, overheated right now, so that sucks. And a glitch over there. I guess we can go discover our first lunar glitch. That's going to be pretty funny, guys. Let's see, let's get some more. Uh... Okay, so I think it might only be from the, yeah, like the bigger rocks, like these small rocks right here, yeah, they're not going to give you, or small stone, they're just going to give you stone, they're not going to give you actual ambergris, so that sucks, you might want to find like this one right here, like this big pointy one, that's going to be, yep, yeah, ambergris right there, and element shard too, ooh, inter, uh oh, oh, the shade, the shade is retracting, uh oh, that is terrible, oh man, hopefully our, is our rex in the shade, our rex is no longer in the shade, uh oh, well he is 24% tamed, he, he's fine, just a, oh no, no, stop sliding, stop sliding, why am I not stopping? Oh, there you go. Holy, that's another defense unit, are you kidding me? Hey, at least the, the shade is catching up to me, so that's good. I can't move for some reason, I'm over encumbered. From what? Probably all the stone I just picked up, there you go, nice. Just throw the stone right in this guy's face, there you go. Now the defense unit's down, so that's good. All right, am I still over encumbered? Uh, I am, but from what? Hmm, I, I, I don't know how our carry weight's up so high right now. Interesting. But well, that's good that we know, like, specifically which rocks are going to give us the, the ambergris. Now this area is covered in shade, I suppose we can, uh, 48%, nice. He's about halfway done right there, that's good, that's good. Let's go to self, or, uh, go fix this glitch. Oh, come on. Go down, go down, go down. Hopefully we just, oh, stay, oh, oh, oh yeah, I, I guess if anything, yeah, because there is, like, lower gravity here. We don't have to, oh man, I'm almost out of water. We don't have to use the jetpack for everything, but every time I hit spacebar, oh, no, never mind. 
I was about to say, every time I hit spacebar, it seems like it activates my glide suit, my jetpack. Ooh, can we make this? I can! Ooh, yeah, look at these big jumps I can do, so that's great. Let's see if we can fix this glitch with Helena. Oh, wait, do I have a... Oh, is this, is this glitched because I have the heckin' taming thing on my screen right now? Kind of like having the, uh, the mission selector, uh, mission locator thing on screen kind of glitched it out. Untrack, so if I untrack... There you go, if I'm untracking that, there you go, can I... Yeah, see, pff, the same thing, it's a literal glitch in relation to glitches. Let's fix the glitch now, though. Apparently, there are limits to the Genesis Simulation's appreciation of fine architecture. Take this glitch. It was a result of survivor number 723K401. She got it into her head to build pillars all over the place. Not to hold up a roof or anything. Just pillars. Out in the middle of nowhere. It's a distinctly human instinct. Leaving your mark on the world. I just wish she'd clean up after herself. Um, I don't think she's- I was about to say, like, I was looking around when she was saying, oh, it was building pillars and stuff. But it looks like- Can I not zoom in? Why can I not zoom- Come on. Come on, Spylass. I don't know what's going on with this. Pfft, I'm blocking with the shield while I'm doing that. Uh, there we go. I was about to say, like, is it, is it referring to, like, these big stone pillars over here that she built? Well, no, these are, like, natural, I guess. Unless it's, like, like this giant thing. But yeah, I guess whatever she made was man-made, obviously. Oh, look at that, our Rex is back in the shade, so that's good. Let's go back over there. Yeah, you can only- oh, we're going to get a little bit of radiation. Ah! Oh, we didn't even take anything from that. Nice. Whoop, land like right here. Nice. All right, he's up to 72% right there. Nice. He's up to 80 or 99.9 uh, .9 taming effectiveness, so that's great. Taming list. Let's track him again. There you go. I guess we'll continue on around here to try and find some more of those, like, ambergris pillars and stuff. Oh, I need to eat. There you go. And I need to drink the last of my oil water. <laughs> uh, but I, I need to find more of those, like, ambergris pillars. Is this... No, I don't think... This is going to give us stone, isn't it? Uh, yeah, pretty much. And I don't think we're able to even ride around on that Tech Rex right now. I think we have a Rex saddle somewhere. I don't know where. If not, we might... Oh, oh, oh that's definitely Ambergris right there we can get. Whoop, there you go. Yeah, look at this. Yep, 60, 82 Ambergris right there. Perfect. This is going to be great for our Magma Sword. Awesome. 104. Yeah, see, this is just not giving us any Ambergris at all. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. We got some from the big rock right there, so that's good. I don't know if we got any from that one. Is there something attack me? I could hear something somewhere attacking something. I don't know what it is though, but this is definitely going to give us ambergris. This is going, yep, there you go, up to 79 right there, nice. Even more right there, up to 106, yeah. Definitely need to be a little bit more mindful. Yeah, look at that range too, like we don't have to be like right next to this stuff. I don't think that's going to give us any ambergris. Yep, the stone, and now we're over encumbered. Man! Yeah, we are a little bit of range with this, which is really cool. So we can keep our distance from stuff, but I'm pretty sure, oh, 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 oh! Tech Rex level 18. Okay, glad that we got the one that's like level 108 or whatever, right? So that's good. Oh, does this show what level he is? Wow, he's being tamed. 102. Ooh, that's pretty good. Is that another one right there? Or is that the same one? I don't know. I want to see. Oh, there's another one right there. One. Oh, level 156. Holy heck. And it's in the shade. Level 60 right there. Ooh. You know what? We're knocking this bad boy out. And there's a raptor down there attacking him, it looks like. Should we kill the ra Oh, the raptor's almost dead, actually. Hold on, I might be able to snipe him down or something. Whoop. There, we got him right in the butthole. And it's got a couple defense units down there. I might as well hit fire them, because I don't need to heckin' aim down the sights for that trash. There, you hit the hit- Oh, one more hit shot- Oh my gosh, come on. Not gonna use the shotgun, or else maybe you'll accidentally hit the Rex right there. But there you go, there's the Rex. Perfect spot right here to heckin' tame this guy. Or knock him out and then tame him. Boom. And on the top of the screen, we can still see 72% on our, uh, other Rex. Get the spyglass up at 16k torpidity. We should have. Yep, we definitely have enough Trank arrows, right? Or Trank, uh, darts right here, so that's good. I see another raptor in the background. Hopefully that raptor does not attack our guy. Especially when he's knocked out. Hold on, I might have to snipe him down. Where'd he go? Just saw him. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh. got him. Right there, 60 again. There's a seeker right there. Is that one going to come over here? There, got him. Oh, he's roaring at us. All right, let's knock him out again. Got to reload. 96% on our other Rex, you guys. Holy heck. I'm pretty sure this is just a reskinned regular Rex. Okay, okay, he's starting to run away from Torpidity, but he's kind of stuck because he's huge. Oh, oh, I'm falling down, I'm falling down. Come on, come on, come on. Boom! Perfect! All right! One, level 156, that's pretty high up. That's that's higher than the level 150 cap. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What is it? Is it a defense unit? It might be the defense unit that was making that noise. Well, his, his hunger isn't going to drop that fast, so I don't think we need to have 
Raw meat in his, raw prime meat in his inventory right now. But I just kind of want to clear the area here. Yeah, what's that sound? I don't know, but while it's still shaded over here and relatively safe for us, let's go over here, put some uh, raw meat in his inventory. I forget how many he actually needs, but I'll just give him like, I don't know, like 50. That should be more than enough. And he has six. Yep, he only needs six. And our one in the background is at 96 percent so let's go all the way over there let's go check up on him see if he actually gets tamed to us successfully and whoop, there you go all right let's go check up on his hunger and see how good that's going to be oh yeah the uh the thing over here should show you the hunger right uh yep look at that look at that i don't even have to like 8100 hunger right there he's down to 880 or 8080 so once he hits 8050 he's going to eat a piece of raw meat same thing here 7800 this one's 16 points away from uh, eating another piece of raw meat this is amazing you guys this is awesome track all what is this oh no you kidding me, you defense unit? Piece of trash, you just... Did it, did it ruin the... Oh, okay, good. Still 99.9% .9 effectiveness, that's great. He only technically attacked... Oh god, another one, are you kidding me? Defending from what? What is, what is this thing even defending? Like, there's no there's no boss thing here that is, like, protecting or anything like that. It's just on the moon randomly. Well, thankfully, this area seems to be all shade right now, which is great. Continue eating food, because I keep on dying. There you go. Or at least I'm starving a lot. There you go, nice. All right, check him on this guy again. Uh, yeah, see, that that's not very helpful there. Might as well go to the taming. Uh, there, there must be a hotkey to open this thing up. 7752. He's about to eat a piece of meat. So is this one over here, but this one's a lot closer. One point away. And boom, there we go. One point away. He's about to eat a piece of meat and get tamed to us here in just a second, you guys. And... Oh, my God. Oh, there we go. A little bit delayed right there. Taming successful. Look at that. Cool. So we gained 50 levels right there. Awesome. That makes sense. Considering it's uh, half your levels minus one or something like that, right? I don't think I could ride this guy right Yeah, I still need a saddle. And I think he might just be able to use a regular saddle. And if you do use a regular saddle, does he have the tech abilities, like the laser beam or whatever that the tech Rex usually has, whatever it's, uh... Oh, and it's still... Oh, okay, it's still, it's still tracked right now. So, yeah, this is actually a cool thing. So, I can track this guy even after the fact. Hold on, uh, taming list. Uh, wait, what? Oh, it's showing it twice. Oh, it, oh, it must be because it was glitched or whatever. I was about to say, you can still track him after you're tamed. That's pretty good. You can just... You're not going to lose track of your heckin' critters and stuff like that, right? So that's cool, but... Level 156 over there, that one's baseline is going to be the same... A little bit higher, actually, than this Tech Rex's after the taming bonus. So that's really good, but let's go over there. Man, you know what? Maybe I'll put this guy in a crab pod. He's already at 16.8% tamed. Nice! And look at that! It, 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 I just hover over the thing. Look at that! I don't even have to open up the menu! Awesome! And it even says right there, plus 77 level taming bonus. Awesome stuff right there, you guys. I love this new taming thing. This is great! Alright, well, let me just put this guy up in a cryopod, and we'll go over there and, I guess, just go protect that Rex and make sure nothing bad happens. So, let suck you up into a cryopod. And we're definitely going to have to go back to, like, the, the volcanic biome. Get ourselves at least a Tech Rex saddle, if we don't already have one. Maybe upgrade a pretty good amount as well. So we could actually uh, have these guys nice and armored more than they normally would. I assume they have natural armor, considering they're literally made out of tech. And I wonder if they're going to be like the Magmasaur, where they're going to protect us possibly from the radiation or something like that, or the Magmasaur protects us from the volcanic event and stuff, you know? If that's the thing, that's going to be really, really cool, you guys. So let me just head on over to that uh, other tech wrecks that we have currently being tamed right now, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Oh!